In this video, I'm gonna make an RBMK P reactor. These reactors are rectangular compared to the normal RBMKs which were circular and this design is completely modular so can be stacked along the length or the width. Power output for this reactor is going to be over 211 MHg per second and will gradually fall off as the fuel rod depletes. So without any further ado, let's get straight into this video. The components required to make this RBMK reactor is a normal RBMK fuel rod, steam channel, graphite moderators, and neutron reflectors and some structural columns. You will need multiple of these and also preferably wall added as this is a stackable design which will make building whole lot easier. So I'm going to start by making a base of 12 by 12 and then extend it in both the directions. So we will have three squares of 12 by 12 and I'm going to color code them to differentiate easily. So here we have a length of 36 and a width of 12 blocks and this is going to be the base of our RBNK. So stack this entire design by 3 up so that it's easier to place down all of the pipes. Now we start with the design itself. So on this white square here, start by placing down 4 fuel rods like this. And then surrounding these 4 fuel rods will be the graphite moderators. Next up, in the corners, we can place down the steam channels to cool down these four fuel rods. And finally, we can start placing our neutron reflectors to sustain the reaction. Now, we won't be placing any more neutron reflectors right now because this design is going to be stacked in all three directions. So, let's actually start stacking it. So, here we are going to place down four more fuel rods touching the moderators and then repeat the similar process and finally for these last four fuel rods and as we have reached the end now we can place down the neutron reflectors right here so that completes the design right here and in order to fill up the remaining blocks i'm going to place down structural columns and with all of these structural columns placed we have now filled up a 6 by 12 area and this is what we are going to stack so set all of these steam channels to ultra dense steam and once we do that we are also going to place down the cover panels in order to prevent radiation from leaking all over the place and make sure not to miss even a single block because yeah even with a single block missed or without the panels radiation will actually leak into the environment so that's all done now it's time to place the fuel in which is going to be highly enriched uranium 235 and in this area we have what like 12 fuel rods so in total this build will is going to have 72 fuel rods and that's the fuel placed and now actually we are ready to stack this design so select by like the top and the bottom block of the diagonal opposite corners and now we can stack this design two more times or three more times in this direction and uh, yeah that should fill it up perfectly and two more time in this direction so that's done and now our 36 by 12 area is completely filled with rbmk reactors all settings intact now at the very end we need to replace the structural columns with neutron reflectors so make sure to do this like don't forget this step and along the length we don't really need as the length was tagged so we only need to do this process along the width so that's all of the neutron reflectors placed like this and now our reactor is actually completely built so technically in order to monitor this reactor you are going to need three rbmk control panels as it is even bigger than 30 blocks right so three rbmk control panels but i messed up the orientation so i am not actually going to link it right now but uh, yeah i will show you how that's gonna look like in the end of the video so for now let's just remove all of the bottom blocks like this so we can start with the piping work now I'm going to speed through this process cause this is like the common process of piping and RBMK reactor. So first things first, world edit once again is going to be very helpful. 
you can start stacking these pipes like 33 along the length so by stacking at 33 it's going to be perfect and it's going to reach the end like this so yeah perfect length and in this way stack it down four more times and then shift right click with the water fluid identifier to set all of them to water now like below each of the connection wherever there is a steam channel we are going to place down our steam connectors and once the steam connectors are placed like this we are going to do a similar process for ultra dense steam so once again stack down four lines and shift right click with the fluid identifier so to set it to ultra density so yeah that's done and now once again we are gonna need a standard of four leviathan steam turbines this first one to ultra dense super dense dense and normal and the input and output port are touching each other so you don't really need to place any fluid ducts in between now for this design we are going to need five cooling towers to make an infinite loop of water you can go for with six like to be safe but uh, you the sixth one won't really function so yeah five cooling towers are like what you are gonna need because the low pressure steam is produced over like not over under one million buckets per second so yeah that is what the five cooling towers can handle so i'm going to just make a closed loop of low pressure steam water with some fluid gauges and yeah that's done now for a buffer tank i'm going to use a big s tank 9000 and that should actually fill up all of the steam channels in the rbmk reactor now we can set this buffer tank to the input output mode or you can even remove it because now it is already a closed loop and in order to start this reactor now just place a neutron source in any of the fuel rod and just remove it and that's it all of the fuel rods have started reacting and this reactor is now completely active so the power level will keep on rising and it will peak at 211 point something <laughs> mega hs per second now as you can see low pressure steam is on like 993,000. it will go up to 997,000 at its peak power production but i have never seen it reach over 1 million millibuckets per second and water levels seem to be holding up good so while the reactor is doing its thing here's an alternate design with control rods by the way so yeah you will need to use the moderated control rods and the layout is going to be exactly same as the one that we made and when you retract all of the control rods this reactor is now going to function as the one that we have made is functioning the only benefit is that you can control it somewhat though it is not fully controllable because even when all of the control rods are like completely inside the four rods in the middle are going to react with each other so it is still going to produce some power passively but it won't run at full power unless you remove all of the control rods so yeah it's been some while the fuel rods as you can see are two percent depleted and we are nearly reaching the peak of power production which is 211.36 or it will reach probably 0 0.40 mega hs per second and if you want to make a base around this whole thing so yeah this is something that you can do i have added like the panels for the crane and also the monitoring panels there are a lot of hazmat suits for someone playing in survival and ladders placed all along the length and width now as you can see the fuel rods are like 48 percent depleted because this reactor has been running for over four hours now and uh, yeah buffer tank seems to be holding good by the way the piping in this whole entire thing is done underground so yeah and as i told you i have used six cooling towers just to be safe you don't really need it and yeah i hope you guys like this video 
if you did please do smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel let me know in the comments what you think of this design peace out